Hey there viewers, welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. Got a real short video for us today. What I'm going to do is show you how to reprogram the TPMS position on your GM vehicle. Uh, it's been made aware to me and I've been wanting to do one of these for a long time. We have people stop in all the time that you know claim to have a soft tire in a certain position because that's what their car tells them. They pull up out front and they look at the tire and next thing you know they've got you know 800 pounds of air in the left front tire when indeed the right rear tire is when it's flat or you know right front or something other than the one it's indicating. So the TPMS systems on GMs are position sensitive, at least on most of them, uh, 07 and newer GM cars, trucks, SUVs, and they all use a very similar programming procedure and it does not require a tool like what we use. We use the Bartek 400 SD here to reprogram tire pressure sensors. Well, I'm gonna show you on your GM how to program the position of the tires so the vehicle knows where they're at. First thing we need to do is just get in the car and turn the key on. And you can, on some like GM trucks and cars, you can toggle through the driver information center here and you can get to where it displays your tire pressure uh, right up on your you know display there. And sometimes you'll get to it where it'll give you the option to relearn tire position. Uh, this one does not have that option. It just had the relearn remote key. So in, in the event that that's the same as yours, or even if yours does have that option up there, you can always do them the same way. You just turn the key on, you take your key fob, you're going to press the lock and the unlock button at the same time until the horn blows. And then you'll see on your display, it'll say tire learn active. Now take your automatic headlights and what you're going to want to do is turn those off. Just turn the knob towards the left to turn the automatic display off. Now when you come outside the vehicle, You'll notice your left front marker lights on that's going to indicate it wants us to start with this left front tire so what we do is like i say we use the bar tech tool so i'm just going to come up and activate this left front sensor and um, my tool here is going to send a signal to the tpms and activate it once the car recognizes it the horn blows i'll show you how to do this without a scan tool though you can see here now that our right front marker light is lit up real bright so it wants us to do this right front wheel so if you're doing it at home and you don't have a scan tool just take the uh, valve cap off and just deflate the tire till the horn blows this will uh, by letting the air out of it will activate the sensor and you'll know when the car receives the signal because the horn blows now we'll go to the back I know we got a lot of glare but our right rear tail light is lit up and then we can just do the same thing here The only downside to this method is, well, you gotta go back and blow the tires up, but you don't have to spend $1,500 on a tool. And we can see our left rear tail light is lit up, so we'll finish off with the only wheel left. It'll finish with a double beep with the horn. It'll beep once and then twice to indicate it's done. Or maybe just twice. What do I know? <laughs> well, there, that's it. Well, there you have it, viewers. That's a pretty fast and easy way to do it. If you don't have access to a uh, TPMS tool uh, like we do, but we do so many different makes and models, all the procedures are quite a bit different. Sometimes we have to program, you know, the OBD2 with, you know, new sensors and such. So that's why we use these tools. But GMs, as far as I know, have always been the same ever since they've used TPMS sensors. You know, everything from the cars, trucks, everything we've ran across. So if you have one, and you rotate your tires or you replace a tire pressure sensor, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. So at any rate, check us out on Facebook if you haven't. You can connect with us socially on Google Plus. And uh, just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.